Hey guys, this is the first of many Keys videos I have coming for you. My family rented a beautiful house in the Florida Keys. We loaded up our trucks and towed our boat down to Marathon and we fished for 8 days straight. My whole family doesn't fish together very often so this was an amazing vacation together and I'm glad I can share the adventures with you. Day 1 started out with some bottom fishing in 70 feet of water followed by some free diving and snorkeling on a reef. I hope you enjoy! What's There's it gonna be, dinner. Vic? There's a your grouper. dinner. We got a grouper? Um, My mom wants dinner. It's either that or a shark. You need a calf? No. No? What the? It's an eel. Oh, that it is, is an eel. That is definitely not dinner. <laughs> I want to see it. That's a moray eel. Oh. That for sure was going to be a grouper, didn't you? Yeah. The way yeah. it was fighting? Mom, right. we don't have any dinner yet. No dinner yet. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he's hooked perfectly. So <laughs> Fisher's Sorry. hooked up. Go towards the back. Go yeah. towards the back. Watch the engine. Around the engine. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, my. There you go. That was good. <laughs> this guy's taking you all around the boat. He wanted to be caught on this side. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Man, now he's taking you back to the front. Like <laughs> tackle fishing. And this is the one fish. There you go. That is the biggest head. bonita I ever seen. That's a giant bonita, but that's going to be really good bait. Took us around the boat two or three times. <laughs> Mom's on. You there you go, Mom. Yet. You got a good one. Dad's on. Oh, What'd you get? Mutton. What'd you get? A mutton. Ooh, a mutton. What'd oh, Mom cool. get? Oh, a mackerel? Is that a mackerel, Mom? Short. It came up so fast that it didn't But he's pretty. Oh, he is pretty. Barracuda? Oh, a mac. Mom, you can eat that. There you go. Get him in, get him in, get him in. There you go. This is a cereal mackerel my mom just caught. These are really good to eat. She wanted dinner and she finally got some. <laughs> I think it's a yellowtail. It, it might be a flag. It is a yellowtail. I didn't see yellow, did you? Are you sure? Should we run? Oh no. Trigger fish. Trigger? We're having trigger fish schnitzel tonight. They fight good. That's a good one. Yeah. That is a good one. Well, that's definitely not the yellowtail I was expecting, but that's a nice big trigger fish. Because he's going to be delicious. After fishing, we decided to switch it up a little bit and switch to snorkeling and a little spear fishing. These first fish are gray angel fish. They tend to be the friendliest fish on the reef and love to pose for pictures. This next fish is a juvenile queen angelfish, one of the most beautiful fish on the reef. Their diet consists of sponges and algae, but they also feed on coral as well as eat parasites off larger fish. This is a trunk fish. It can secrete a poisonous toxin that acts as a chemical defense mechanism against predators. It can be fatal to other fish if consumed. This is a spot fin butterfly fish. The spot near the tail that acts as a false eye, as well as the bar across the face, are both adaptations that can confuse predators. In this clip, off in the distance, you can see my brother Jed dive down to spear hogfish. Good job, Jed! Let's see, Dad. That's a nice grover. Nice mangrove. He just posed for me and waited for the shot. <laughs> you speared him good, too. <laughs> Measure it for belly. me. Okay, Tell me how big it is. I, I called him 15. I think he's over. Baby yellowtails are all around the boat. 18. Huh? 18. 18 oh, inches. Right. Well, we caught four grouper today. And then we went in the water, we switched it up, and we did a little diving. And my dad shot this nice mangrove snapper. And my brother shot this nice hogfish. 
Here's my trigger fish I caught. I'm gonna fillet up the mangrove snapper and the hogfish now, and tonight I'm going to make my mom's favorite dinner, which is snapper franchise, so stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to fillet is this hogfish with my seven inch bubble blade knife. Always make sure that you get all the head meat of a fish. You don't wanna waste all this. If you cut like this, you're gonna miss head meat. So follow and see where his head meat goes up to. And go behind his skull. Somebody's snickering at now, going to follow his backbone, just do a first incision all the way down. All right, so now after I did that first incision, I'm just gonna keep following down the bones, nice and easy, making sure I don't miss any meat. If you were to ask people what their favorite fish was, I guarantee a lot of them are going to say hogfish. It's a super white, mild meat, very flaky. They're not the easiest thing to catch. They're kind of a delicacy. Normally you only spear them. You can catch them on hook and line, but usually people spear them. So now I'm just going over the rib cage. There's our first fillet. See, super white, and they also don't really have a bloodline, so that's also why they're a very mild taste. So this is actually a male hogfish, and if you come here, they got this giant mouth. And this is how they got the name hogfish. They got this big mouth. And check out those teeth. They got some big chompers. And normally the males have this dark red head. If you're shooting male hogs with a dark red head, then you know you're getting the big one. And then before I throw a fish in, I always pop his eyes so they don't float. We can check his belly. These guys eat a lot of things off the reef, so their bellies are normally full of sand. Sometimes you find crabs in them, but they eat a lot of shells. It just seems like a bunch of sand in here. Look, like this is sand and rocks. Crazy that they can actually digest this stuff. But it's just sand and rocks. Nothing good in there. It doesn't even look like any parts of crabs or anything. All right, so now for the skinning part. Start here, which is the tail side. And they have a nice thick scaled skin, so they're pretty easy to skin. Ready? There we go. Perfect skin job. <laughs> and then they just have this little tiny bit of bone right here. It doesn't even go up very far, but just about that far. Super white meat, very flaky, look at that. I mean, how could you not like that? Next is this mangrove. They also got some crazy teeth in there too. Definitely a fish you do not want to unhook by sticking your fingers in its mouth. Start in behind his gill plate behind the head, coming down the belly, working down the bones. Just nice and slow, there's no rush. You know, if you're not the best at flying fish, the faster you go, the more likely you are to make a mistake. If you go nice and slow, you won't mi miss any meat. Okay, there's our first fillet. Nice big fillet, these guys are also really white. Same thing as the hogfish, start with the tail. And just work your knife down that skin. I actually prefer mangrove snapper over yellowtail snapper. The fillets actually stay together a little bit better than yellowtail. Ta-da! And they also have a little bone line right here. Right along that little blood line. So I'm just gonna cut that part out. So I'm gonna finish flying up these fish and then I'm gonna meet you guys back inside the kitchen for a nice franchise dinner. And if you're wondering about these groupers, don't worry, I didn't forget about them. You'll see them in that next video. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So like I said, I'm making franchise tonight, but I'm not just using snapper. I'm gonna use the hog snapper, mangrove snapper, the trigger fish, and yesterday we caught a cereal mackerel, so we're gonna do all four of those. So we're gonna have four different species of fish, and you're probably wondering why we're not eating the grouper, but with this recipe, I wanted a nice thin flayed fish, so that's why I'm choosing to use the snappers and that mackerel, but don't worry, because we're gonna eat all of that grouper too, and there's gonna be a catch and cook coming up with that too. So let's get to cooking. So the first thing I'm doing is seasoning my fish with some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna sprinkle on some flour and pat it in there nice and good. And you want a nice solid coat of flour because that's how you're going to get a nice crispy brown fish. Next step, I have a nice hot pan on about medium high heat. I'm adding some olive oil and some butter. 
I'm going to take my floured fish and dip it into some egg that I have scrambled up and then put it straight into that oil and butter. You want that oil nice and hot because these fish are gonna cook fast and you want a nice brown coating. Now I'm not at home, so I don't have all my correct tools and you can't use metal on a nonstick pan, so I gotta do a little bit of spatula action here. Because if you know, you can't use metal tongs on a nice pan. Now as I was breading these fish, I put a glass dish in the oven so that it would heat up so when it came time to take my fish out, I could put them in this nice heated dish and they wouldn't cool down as I cooked the rest of my fish. So we're also serving this over linguine. And I think the best way to serve your linguine is when you break it in half against the countertop and then you don't have giant pieces, you just have them in half. Makes them a little more manageable. Now we are going to deglaze the pan with some white wine. This is the start of our sauce. I'm also going to add the juice of one whole lemon. Make sure you get the seeds out, you don't want any seeds in your sauce. Now I'm adding a little more butter. Don't kill me, this is gonna be spread out between a lot of people. Now I'm adding some chopped parsley as well as some thin lemon slices. At this point, my pan's on low heat. I'm adding in some capers and I'm just gonna let that sauce sit and have all of my flavors come together. As for the linguine, I only added a little butter and some garlic salt and then I just poured that sauce over the fish and over a little bit on the pasta and ooh, does that look good. All right, here's the fam. Everyone caught it, and now they're enjoying it. And it's this guy's birthday, so happy birthday to Jed. Happy birthday, Jed. Happy birthday, Jed. It looks good. It is good. What's everyone's first reactions? Good? Delicious. Yeah, real good. Really good. <laughs> Five star. That was my first time making sniper franchise and it turned out really good. I really liked it. So let's see what everyone has to say. The meal was exquisite. Brooke and Victor's palates are getting more refined with each meal they cook. Just when I keep thinking they can't get any better, they keep surprising me and it, it was just phenomenal. Thanks, Jen. Um, first fish dinner in the Keys was uh, everything I thought it would be. Every bite kept getting better. That was really good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Mom? Um, that's my favorite fish dish, and it turned out really nice. And it was a lot of fun catching this fish with you guys. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, snapper franchise is a, it can't be an easy dish to make, but it was delicious. I loved it. All right, I got two things I want to say. <laughs> Number one is the fact that we had four different types of fish on the table and Brooke cooked them all to perfection. Everyone had, you know, hogfish, triggerfish, and everything, but I like I took a little bite out of everyone's plate, everyone kind of shared, and they all just tasted good because Brooke cooked the fish perfectly because that's one of the hard things about franchise. You gotta get that crispy outside exterior, which Brooke killed, by the way. And then another thing, you guys gotta give a round of applause to your girl Brooke because she's the one who drives us around all day on the boat. That's what you guys don't see behind the camera. And she positioned us on the fish and she's been sick this whole time. We just spent the last few hours cleaning fish and she just cooked a nice meal for us. So thank you, Brooke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thanks guys, that was really good. We had a great day out on the water. We all had so much fun. We caught fish, we filled the cooler and then we had a great meal all together. So it couldn't have been any better than that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.